You're listening to Kenyut Exploration. I am Dr. Kenyut White. Today, we'll be talking to a very special guest out of Jamaica. And those of you listening on your favorite podcast platform, Apple Podcasts, Amazon, Spotify, you'll not be able to see, but you'll be able to hear the fascinating story, the inspiring story of a young man out of Senton in Jamaica who have been doing well despite his age. Those of you watching on YouTube will be able to see this young man and appreciate the talent that Jamaica has and um, the world has in, in, in a young man like this. I just want to take this opportunity to welcome those persons who are listening slash watching from around the world, Germany, Ukraine, Canada, United Kingdom, Guyana, some places in Africa, and naturally Jamaica and the United States, among other places. Look, there, there's not many adolescent boys who would be able to consider themselves humanitarians. This whole thing about hum humanitarianism, philanthropism, is, is very strange among young men, especially young men, right? But in general, young children, young, young youths. Jamaica has produced many young philanthropists, but this one had, had came into the fold during the pandemic and had striked a note that is important, that is relevant at this time. We're going to be talking to Kelvin and Kelvin Peart and his father. We just want to let both of them in at this time. Kelvin. How are you doing, man? You're, 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 you're muted. You're muted, Kelvin. Okay, cool. Kelvin and oh, Kevin. You, oh, yes, sir. America. Welcome to Can You Exploration. Um, you're picking a podcast, uh, a weekly a weekly podcast platform. And we, we want to just bring you into the fold. We're doing this for a number of reasons, Kevin. That's, that is Kevin, Kelvin and son. We're doing this for a number of reasons. I'm Jamaican. And there are many Jamaicans in the diaspora who would want to understand what's going on. And at this point, what, what we want to do is to be able to give Kevin, Kelvin, all the support that, 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 all the support that he needs. Right? But let me talk to, to, to Kel, Kelvin a bit, though, Kevin. Kelvin, huh? thanks, for, thanks for coming. All right? Thanks yes, for coming, sir. man. Look, yes, Kelvin. Yes, sir. I am proud of you. Jamaicans are yes, proud sir. of you. Jamaicans in the diaspora, in the United States, anywhere in the world, we are proud of you, right? So, so, so believe it. We, we, we stand with you. We are proud of you, and we are willing, ready to give you all the support that you need, right? We, you know. So, so, so feel free to talk. I, I want to find out if, if um. There's one word that you'll use to describe you. What would that word be? I don't know. You don't know. All right. Innovative. What did you say about being innovative? I didn't yeah, hear that. Creative, that creativity, that innovation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? Well, Daddy. Daddy. Where's, where's Kevin? Daddy. Yes, sir. Kevin, proud are you yes, too, you know, man. Proud are you too, you know, because you have a son who you guide. And I mean, you put in all the work to ensure that your son, you know, come out to be the gentleman he is, right? How would you describe him in one word? Um, it's I, me. He's my, <laughs> I know, he's my best kid, yeah. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, you know, and and and, he, and he's proving it. He's proving it. Kevin, one other yes, thing sir. I want you to to be telling my audience at this time, right? But 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 before before I go to that, I want I want to play something. I want to play something. Passing by this old wooden bar of Queen Height Road in Discovery Bay, Saint Anne. Not for a second would you imagine that behind its rustic walls is a makeshift classroom. And what's even more interesting, the teacher is a 14-year-old, 
Kelvin Peart. On weekdays, the 8th grader who attends the Fern Court High School in St. Anne would set up class here for about 10 students. Kelvin says the idea came about after he and his father realized the many students were struggling with access to online learning. Teaching students subjects, mathematics, language arts, science and social studies. Faith as a four and No blackboard. No problem. What's more important is getting the work done. He says at first, many were reluctant to participate. But once he started, the numbers kept growing. Feel good helping these students and their cooperative. They are willing to learn. But how does Kelvin juggle this with his own schoolwork? In the morning, I address them, keep devotion. Topic mathematics first, and then tell them the topic, went through it with them, give them work, and then I attend my class. When I get break, I give them break the same time, which is 10.50. Then send them out to break, I eat my break, we come back in and do another subject, which is language art. After I give them the topic, I went through it, went through it with them, then give them work, and start my work, and I do it like that over and over. One of the parents, Latoya Grant, says not only is she impressed with his level of maturity, but she's also seeing improvements in her child. I don't have the time to keep up with her schoolwork, so it's a great relief for me to have the assistance. Kevin Peart, Kelvin's father, says he recognized his son's potential from a tender age. When I see him start this program, I know when I see kids from about one come and can't come because they don't have enough space. And they say, look, I'm big space put in. He's encouraging other parents, especially fathers, to support their children in their endeavors. They say, what I did, not that she Take your ride with them, because you know what they're going to be. And stop killing kids. Them. I did that to be the next prime minister. Tell me, what was Kelvin's childhood like, you know, growing up? What, 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 what was he like before? Before no, what his childhood was like. Is it was Kelvin like bird birds? He played by himself. He like birds. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, so so you can't find him in the yard. Outside, flying leaf like bird. Mm, so yeah. that is what of Kelvin a bit flying leaf, like making bird cage. <laughs> yeah, cool. making bird cage and so he try to make birds. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's Kelvin's style. Yeah, you see? And that's the thing, you know, um, Kelvin. You're creative. And that's cool. <laughs> you're creative. So it means that, you, you, you know, he's, he's going to do so well. Because he's so creative. You're looking at not only a teacher, but you're looking at a scientist. Somebody who will invent things. You know, he seems very creative um, to me. But tell me about his ventures, though. What, what, how can we help? Or okay, can the diaspora help? You want to say something? No. Kelvin, when you're ready um, to talk, you know, Amir. I'm thinking, you're yeah, a little bit low. I, we cannot hear. I, I, um, a call was coming in and then it just get low. Okay. Are you hearing me clearly now? No, I'm, I'm hearing about it, but it's very low. Okay. And, and, and the speaker is, is book. Okay. All right. No problem. I, I'm asking you. How can we help, Kelvin? How can we help? Oh, you yeah, asking me? Yeah, how okay. can we um, help? Talk to me. Ah, the help, the help I already need, I already need to finish Kelvin's room. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I'm building a room and a bathroom. I was trying to finish that first and then build Kelvin's room after. Okay. But I stopped by building this room and a bathroom. Okay, cool. All right, and, and that, is, that is a good idea. But in addition to that, the, the, you, you talk about something before when we had this conversation about um, the, the, the plan to, to ensure that Kelvin starts what we call the Kelvin Peart Empowerment Center. Tell us about okay. that. Uh, we have, yeah, the container, yes, the container. Right. We are thinking about the container instead of use plywoods and those stuff. Is it is it the, the, the Yard Castle principal have that idea? So we say we work with it. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yes, so, because that sounds like a good idea to have. Yeah, a, so when mm-hmm. when when school open, we use it for our homework center. Oh, yeah. So so you just you have this this homework center thing called the Kelvin Piet Empowerment Center. <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> Kevin, hear me, Kevin. This thing is that a hey, this thing can do well for Kelvin, right? I know. And we are ready to pump some resources in it. I am ready. Persons have been yes, calling sir. me, and that is why you're on Can Youth Exploration to, um, today. Persons have been calling me. We want to have a fund so that Kelvin can get some money to, to, to further um, establish this, this empowerment center. But, but yes, my sir. question, though, will the empowerment center just be a homework center? What else will the empowerment center provide? What's the plan? Uh, there's, I don't think we have an next plan. The, the plan is keep school now until school is open. Use if our homework center, we don't, we don't come up with a next plan yet. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Because empowerment, empowerment is more than just homework. I know you will be involved in this, in this thing, right, in this venture a lot. I know that, right? So empowerment yes, means more than just homework. Right, oh. it, 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 yeah, it, it yes, means yes, more than about uh, you know more than homework. I I'd want to suggest that you get perhaps a, a counselor to work with some of these youths as well, right? Because it's, yes. it's a whole Kelvin um, venture, you know, but but it's about providing resources to for the betterment, for the empowerment of 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 the the youth in the district. You understand? Yes, what I'm yes. I I I don't stop it, but that that point is a good point. Them. It's a treasure. That is a yard castle principal. Mm-hmm. He was thinking about a training center for the okay. youths in the community that don't have a skill. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, that, that is one of the points too. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Be- because it because it, it's really important and 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 Kelvin had started this thing, you know, and and um, hats off to him. It would be a poor house in Jamaica, the poor house in society, because he had started this. This whole venture, I kick this thing off, and we are ready to to be a part of it, right? Um, yes, do you sir. have a a bank account? That yes, sir. You can put um, funds in. Yes, sir. I have a credit union account. That you tell the public about. Um, most of the people um, decide about Western Union. Oh, okay. True Western yes. Union. So you're yes, saying. Sir. If somebody in the United States want to make a donation, want to contribute to Kelvin effort, what should we do? What should that person do? Uh, the two, two suggestions, either yes to union are in my account. Okay. But you don't want to give this public because this is No, no. I, 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 will, I will only text it to you. Right. All right. Fine. So, so they can contact me and can you yes, inspiration sir. your topic in a podcast. My contact here is a uh, W Radio, W Radio 668 at gmail.com. You can email me, W Radio 668 at gmail.com, and I will ensure that we we get this thing out to um to, to Kelvin and, and yes, so that the venture will go. Uh, yes, sir. T- tell me what motivates I need to talk to Kelvin a bit. Yes, Kelvin. Sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, talk to me, man. Talk to me. I need to talk to you, boss, man. Let me see you. Don't worry yourself. Let me see you. Um, we want to see you. Diaspora want to see you, Kelvin. Because you are, you are a very famous person. You are, you know, you are, you are oh, good. No. You are. Ah! <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. You, you know, we're cheering for you. We have you. Um, look here. What motivates you? What give you that drive to, to, to do this? Talk to us. It all started with my godfather. He saw me teaching my little brother. Yeah. So he said that he knew that I was a black boy. So he wanted me to teach the kid community. So he yeah. suggested it with the parents, but they weren't interested. So on a Sunday, I went to my aunt's house and she said that she heard that I was going to see some kids in the community. So I said, yes, but no one is interested. So she said, she want me to teach her daughter. So I went this Sunday and Clay came and cleaned out the shop, the bar, 
Yeah, my dad and my aunt, and then wait the same Sunday and tell them to send her the Monday. And I got three students on the Monday, and the Tuesday I got six, and I got right up to ten. Now I have 16, but the great four students are at school. Cool. Hey, I'm proud of you. We are proud of you. Hey. <laughs> we are proud of you. All right, let me ask you, Kelvin. How, how do you feel about all of this? Explain your feeling about all of this. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I know, right? Proud. Yeah, of course. And we are proud of you too. You know, I mean, you are you are you are such a, a powerhouse. What's your plan though for your future? What's I didn't hear that. What's your plan for your future? What where do you see Kelvin 10 years from now? Being a pediatrician. Okay, cool. <laughs> So, so well, on, so well, you you're going to no you, you you're going to be a good teacher, you know, but you can also be a pediatrician who would would I'm um, going to teaching lecturing eventually because you are here to to communicate to students what they need. Not all of us can do that, right? So, so you want to be a doctor, a pediatrician, right? So you 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 are interested in in, in taking care of children. All right, that was what motivates you. But who motivates you? Who are some of the teachers you are looking at? Who, 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 who are those teachers at school, from primary school, who motivates you? My grade six teacher, Miss Cardner, my principal at my primary school, and my aunt is also a teacher. Oh, cool. Hey, you know what, what I love? There's this song. I wonder if I can find it. There's this song that I heard, right? I, I, I love this song. It, it's catching Kelvin. <laughs> Let me see if I can play it. Hold for me. to you kelvin where do you where, how do you come up with that song that is creative again because they just say hey i want to be this i want to be this. and you come up with that song this song talk to us about that no first i asked them what they wanted to do, wanted to be so i made a school song i thought of a school song and made it off that i say it words by words and then i come up with that cool and I, like, I love it it's catching because I start to dance when I hear it. I mean, <laughs> so it's catching. Tell, tell me, though. Daddy, I know you start to dance sometimes too when you hear it, you know. <laughs> All right, tell, tell me, though. Uh, how, how receptive. All right, Kelvin, you know, I, I was a dean of discipline one time, and I know that sometimes students can give a lot of, you know, problems and so on, right? I, I, I realize that you are a disciplinary and you, you know what you're about, you're focused. How do you deal with discipline within that little circle, within your, your, your classroom? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a very strict teacher, so they have yeah. to listen. Yeah, yeah. Suppose, suppose one girl or one boy doesn't listen. What, what do you do? What do you do? Punishment. Okay. What are some I of the punishments? I lines to write. Cool. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. How many lines would you give a student that, that uh, you know, was perhaps in discipline? Depends on the type of behavior. Okay. Mm. No, no, that's cool. 
So it tells me that you're strategic in what you're doing. You, you formulate a thing a, a little later. So. All right. Say I disrupt the class. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm one of your students and I disrupt the class. What would you do? What would I do? Yeah, how many lines? What, what, what's the procedure? I, I was disruptive in your class. About 20 lines. Okay, cool. And, and, and they usually do it. Depends on the grade because some of the grade four students, they like to write, so I give them a lot. Okay. You know, Daddy, I want you to listen to this, but I'm talking to you, I'm talking to your son, though, because I, I understand the teaching system uh, you know, a, a bit as well. And, and what he's doing, and that is why I respect him, so, one of the reasons why I respect him so much, because guess what happened? He has um, students mm -hmm. who, are, who are not at the same level, mm -hmm. not at the yes. same level in the class. Some are five graders, some are two graders, some, and, and he tried to, to, to deal with that. And not many teachers can, can do that well. And, and, you know, not many, well, I would want to think that trained teachers might be having a challenge with this, right? But my question goes back to Kelvin. Kelvin. Yes, sir. Sir, how do you deal with this? There are different levers. You understand that, because I know you, but there are different levers in terms of their intellect. You have some who are five graders, some who are two graders. How do you deal with that? How, how, how do you deal with that in terms of teaching them? Different grades. Okay. okay. If, if, if Johnny is a two grader, right? And Marva is a five grader. Ivan is a three grader. You have all of them in one class. You give all of them the same, same lesson, right? You're, you're muted. I give them based on what I learned in primary school. Oh, cool. Cool. So, so if um, you are giving them something from five grade, Daddy, I want you to help me. You, you understand me, Daddy? So, if, if, if Kelvin. Yes, sir. One person is in five grade and, and, and um, is over the, the, the subject matter for one grade, and you have a one grade a day, you still give that one grade at the five grade mat subject matter? Sir? You still give that one grade at the five grade subject matter? No, I give them four, I think, yeah, four subjects. Okay, all right, all right. So so you basically, I, I know, um, deal with them how, at their level, at their, is that her own level, and, and that's cool. Yeah, yes, I, I, I love that. I asked Daddy this before, but I'm going to ask you this. <laughs> How can we help you? Daddy, uh, I don't ask you this, but I'm just going to ask your son this as well. How can we help you? Uh, I'm going to show you. Yeah, go ahead, Daddy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You, you can see that? Oh, yeah, cool. That, that is my unfinished show. I want to finish that. Oh, that is that is place, yeah. Yes, sir. All right, cool. Yeah, well, yeah. That 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 included. What I suggest you do, Daddy, yes, sir. Um, is to have what 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 I, what you call a fund. Set up a fund, yeah. Yes, and, um, yes, yes. Because we teach half it all right, too, you know. The teacher yes, have yes. To be okay. <laughs> That's making comfortable. No, of course, and I believe that. Yes. So the teacher have to be okay. So with with that as well as as um ensuring that. The, this 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 venture, this um Kelvin Empowerment Center, right? Yes, Finish as well. So you know everything in one, because yes, he's sir. gonna get a lot of help. I am going yes, to sir. campaign for him so that yes, he sir. gets some assistance, and I am going to play my part as well. And as I said to you, there are persons calling me, asking me for 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 your number, so yes, so to, to get some assistance for him. Okay. Um, he, how, how is he doing in terms of um, working along with them and work, doing his own schoolwork? How is that going? Uh, he, 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 what he does is he, he gives them work and mm -hmm. meanwhile, while they are doing their, their work, he attends to his on, online. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
not not an easy task. Yes, Kelvin, so him, him, him saying can't angle it, so. <laughs> if Kel, he can what? <laughs> he can't can, can, can angle the both of them. Talk to me, Kelvin. Talk to me. Talk to me. You, you, you can't angle, but you can't angle it. it. It's not a problem. It's not stressing no, you. No, sir. I believe you. I believe you. All right? Uh, but but um, as, as long as you, you, you try to balance them, because guess yes, what? Sir. I want you to do well as well. Because you are a brain box and, and you, you are a very powerful person. So, so I want you to do well. The, 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 the next thing, right, is that... Daddy, I'm talking to you now, Daddy. Daddy. Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Your name's so close, man. Kevin. Kevin. Where is mommy? Where is mommy? Uh, she, she's in the street. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, no shopping. okay, cool, cool, cool. Because I know she, I talked to her recently as well. She had made yes, a lot yes, of contribution, and, and we, we definitely cannot leave out Mummy. We have to, to, to give Mummy um, some credit as, as well as you, Kevin. You know, yes, um, yes, what, what's, what's Mummy's name? Shana K. Blake Peart. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, big <laughs> thumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. It's a husband and wife thing, yeah, right. Yeah, my my, my yeah, four years old. Know. Never know that. Cool. Yes, sir. Yeah, I love that. So, <laughs> what's so, the one I'm waiting to picture? When yeah, finish cool, 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 cool. Yes. Yeah, man. So, so, mommy and daddy contribute to Kelvin development. He has other yes, sisters and brothers. He has other siblings. Yes, sir. Um, uh, two son and one daughter. Oh. So, what's the name of the, the, the other son? The big, big son name is Nicardo Peart. Okay, how about daughter? And the daughter is Amila Peart. Cool. Gabriel. Cool. Amila Gabriel Peart. Cool, 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 cool. Love it, yeah, love it, love it. Star boy, no. Kelvin, Ronaldinho <laughs> Peart. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. You are the big man, you know? You are the big yes, man. But, but, Kelvin, hear what happened. Let me talk to you now. Let me say this to you, and, and I want you to listen to me. You see all of them accolades there, Dr. So-and-so, Dr. Canute White, and all of that? I, I want to see your face, Kelvin, so let me look into the camera. You see all of those things, Dr. Canute White and, and those things? I have masters, two masters, bachelors, doctorate, and all of that. I've, I've been doing well. Was in the Jamaica, Jamaican military. Um, was a justice of the peace down there, notary public here, lecture all over. But guess what happened, Kelvin? I am from the ghetto in Jamaica. Waterhouse, Western Kingston. I, I, I'm not sure if you know those places, because you're from Centon. I'm not sure much you, you go to those places. But those are deep ghetto, inner city, inner city, right, in Jamaica. Right? Wow. And, and, wow. and I, I came out good. Why I'm saying this to you, because you're from rural Jamaica, St. Anne. What's the name of the district? What's the name Adna of the Grass. Say again, please. Adna Grass. Right. You are from that district. And it doesn't mean that you cannot do extremely well because you started already. You started already. It doesn't matter what's going on in your life. It doesn't matter what people think about you. You have to continue to strive, continue to succeed. Never let anyone take away your dream. You see this dream that you have, that's growing now? It's yours. It's not my one. It's not mommy's one. It's not daddy's one. It's yours. We're just helping you to guide, guide the thing through and to give you the support. But at the, end, at the end of it, Kelvin, Daddy, you will have your own life you now. You'll be married yes. and have your children and, 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 and have your job and so on. Daddy, yes, yeah, Daddy will be somewhere else, you know, you know with mommy and so on. While Kelvin, have you, you have your family, Kel, Kelvin. So don't let nobody, nobody take away that dream. Don't let nobody try to pull you into something that is not 
good yes yes and and i will say this and can you explain your topic in a podcast don't make anybody give you drugs don't make anybody <laughs> lure you into crime i know you're smarter than that but i'm just saying yeah yes yes don't don't let it happen because you have a dream and you have a part where you're on for and, and jamaica will always remember this day they will always remember kelvin this report yes, by TVJ, Jamaica will always remember it. This YouTube presentation will be on YouTube for, for forever. Yes, sir. So don't let us down. Don't let down daddy. I know you won't, but I'm just saying it because I know you're a smart boy. Don't let down mommy. Don't let down your teachers. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Good. All right, Daddy. Is there anything you'd want to say? If, um, finally, what 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 would you like to say? Uh, I would like to say I'm thankful for all the people who are supporting Kelvin all over the world. They are so wonderful. Yeah. Thank yeah. you all. Yeah, yeah. Kel Kelvin, what would you like to say? Boss man, big up yourself, man. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are Jamaican. We tell you that every time I hear that. I am Jamaican. No matter where in the world I go, I am a Jamaican. You know the song, right? Yeah. So we can talk. What, what you have to say? What you have to say? Talk to me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, talk to me, man. Talk to me, my youth. <laughs> with a man talk anything can you take inspiration your topic in the podcast I'm sitting in with Kelvin Pierce the young teacher who, who, who makes the news teaching some, some children you know in, in his community and daddy Kevin yeah Kelvin talk to me what did I say <laughs> I don't know what say talk to Jamaica talk to the world I don't know this All right. You know, what, you know what I want you to do? I want you to, to thank the world, you know, for what? Just, just give thanks. Talk, talk, talk to them. You know, be thankful. Tell them, what, you know, what you want to say about it. I just want to say thanks to all the sponsors who supported me and my class. It really helped the class and our community. Yeah, it, 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 it does that. And... Um, and, and that is important. That is number is for those of you listening on your favorite podcast. That is number is one eight seven six. One eight seven six. I don't know where I get that from. One eight seven six four four two three zero nine zero. Right, that is yes, sir. One eight seven six. That 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 should be right. And that's that code. one six seven. That's one eight seven six. That's that is number. And um, I want you guys to to call Daddy, and um, let's 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 work on it. One eight seven six. Yeah, and 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 um, let's work on it. Let's let's give Kelvin some support. What do I want you to do as well, you know, Daddy? That that bank accounting, right? Ensure that yes, you you have it set up, and persons will contact me. Um, at, by sending an email to W Radio, W Radio six six eight at gmail dot com. W Radio six six eight at gmail dot com. Or call Kevin. That's Kelvin's father at one eight seven six four four two three zero nine zero, and uh, you can make a donation. What I'd love to say, um, Kevin and Kelvin. I'd like to 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 get put together some sponsorship for at least a four or five thousand US. I I'd love to do that. It's not a yes, promise, sir. but I'd like to 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 get persons to to buy into it and and put that together. And um and um I I I'd, I'd want to ensure that that it goes towards the 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 um Kelvin project. 
especially the the empowerment center that is yes, critical right so i i am I'm, I'm gonna try to see how much i could get that in in action um by sometime starting now by sometime next year you know i i, I should be able to 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 um donate something let's see how the audience and other persons um support through through me um so that you can you can get something going all right yes hey, big man big work you do you know you bring up a good youth and you know <laughs> you bring up a good youth and 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 that's off to mommy as well because it's a it's a teamwork yeah it's a union yeah, she is very strict you know yeah i talk <laughs> for <her>. yeah <laughs> yeah i know yes, right man. and um aunt is a teacher no that's what he was saying. The, uh, your, his auntie is a teacher. Yes, sir. My yeah. sister, yeah. Yeah. So, so, so that combination, you know, and 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 daddy is very focused. Too. I know. I've yes, been sir. talking to you, right? And, and 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 Kelvin, daddy is really, really interested in what you are doing, and he, he, you know, he is giving you all the support, right? So, I, I suspect that he's the manager. <laughs> 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 and also the principal too. <laughs> and the principal. <laughs> yeah. No, no, he needs that. Yeah. Kelvin needs that, right? That's uh, that support, yeah. right? And um, I know that. I, I, have some, I have a question for you. Is education, in terms of college, where that is going? You're going to need, you're going to, need to, to garner support for that as well. Yes, yes, I, yes, I think so. Yeah, is yeah. America go study? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's possible. It is. It is yes, all yes. possible. So, yes. so those persons are here and can assist him. Um, he wants to to study here in the United States eventually, right? Um, it, it's not all over, um, Kelvin. It's not all over. Just keep your head on your body, work hard, make sure you do your 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 courses as well and do well in school. Right, and um, it's yes, not sir. all over. I am here, daddy. Have my number, right? You know, you know, you can touch base with me, I can guide you as uh, um, from time to time, right? And um, you're you're our, our boy, the a son, a son of the soil, Jamaica, right? Jamaica land, we love, we love you, Kelvin. Um, keep it going, keep your head on your body, and uh, enough love from yes, Kenneth's sir. exploration and everybody else, right. Kevin, Kevin, we talk. Right? Yeah, man, nice to have you. Yeah, I, I will call you guys. All right, boss. Take care. Yes, sir. Bye bye. Right. Let you Thank you. Guys. You're welcome. That was Kevin and Kelvin. Kelvin, our star, and Kevin, his father. His number is running across the, the screen. That's his father's number. 1876. 442-3090. I want you to, to contact his father. Give what you can so that Kevin can start his project. In fact, it seems as if it had started. He just wants to ensure that his project, the Kelvin Peart Empowerment Center, comes to light. Let's help him do that. I love to be able to to um to earn for them. We are going to be organizing that at least for four thousand US dollars to see where that can go. Um, we are going to be organizing that so that it goes to the right place and in the in in, in the right location. Um, and so that by next year he could get that going to get the Kelvin Peart Empowerment Center off the ground. You also heard his song that he had he had he had put together. Nurse. Soldier. Yeah. Soldier. Alright, so all right, let's sing our school song. One, two, three. I want to be a soldier, Dr. Police. Yes, Dr. Police. Yes, Dr. Police. I want to be a soldier, Dr. Police. Yes, Dr. Police. And I should do my work on my family. On my family. On my family. On my family. And I should do my work on my family. On my family. On my family. On my family. And I should do my work on my family. 
Yes, that that was Kelvin in his classroom, his makeshift classroom. But those of you who didn't hear what 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 happened, how this come to light, how this this becomes such a, a public thing. TVJ had had a broadcast. Kelvin makeshift makeshift classroom and and the venture you listen to this if you haven't heard it before passing by this old wooden bar of queen height road in discovery bay st anne not for a second would you imagine that behind its rustic walls is a makeshift classroom and what's even more interesting the teacher is a 14 year old kelvin peart on weekdays, the 8th grader who attends the Ferncourt High School in St. Anne would set up class here for about 10 students. Kelvin says the idea came about after he and his father realized the many students were struggling with access to online learning. Teaching students subjects, mathematics, language arts, science and social studies. Faith as a four and No blackboard. No problem. What's more important is getting the work done. He says at first, many were reluctant to participate. But once he started, the numbers kept growing. Feel good helping these students and they are cooperative. They are willing to learn. But how does Kelvin juggle this with his own schoolwork? In the morning, I address them, keep devotion. Topic mathematics first, and then tell them the topic, went through it with them, give them work, and then I attend my class. When I get break, I give them break the same time, which is 10.50. Then send them out to break, I eat my break, we come back in and do another subject, which is language art. After I give them the topic, I went through it, went through it with them, then give them work, and start my work, and I do it like that over and over. One of the parents, Latoya Grant, says not only is she impressed with his level of maturity, but she's also seeing improvements in her child. I don't have the time to keep up with her schoolwork, so it's a great relief for me to have the assistance. Kevin Peart, Kelvin's father, says he recognized his son's potential from a tender age. When we see him start a program, I know when we see kids from our boat, one come and can't come, because they don't have enough space. And they said, look, I'm going to be the He's encouraging other parents, especially fathers, to support their children in their endeavors. They say, well, I did not dash you, eh? Take your eye with them, because you know what they're going to be. And stop killing kids, them. I do that to be the next prime minister. Yeah. Kelvin Father talked about how we can support his venture. I realized that he, he spoke about, um, spoke about getting Kelvin room renovated and you know finished that that that's one of the the thing that you'd like to see done however the concept of kelvin peart empowerment center is also critical and it's something that would like to assist with in addition to that as was suggested kelvin will wa would want to go to college later on and uh, that he would need support so anything will do to to ensure that Kelvin is properly supported in his venture as a real Jamaican doing humanitarian work within his community at that tender age. Kelvin told us and on Can Youth Exploration, your topic in a podcast when we interviewed him earlier, that he wants to be a pediatrician, right? He wants to be a doctor. So it will take a lot for him to, to get there. And as much as you can give him that support, who knows? Teach him to fish so that he can do well. So if you contribute to the Kelvin venture, that is the whole thing about Kelvin Peart Empowerment Center, sure, you'll be able to, to assist Kelvin in going to medical school eventually. He's a good teacher, but he wants to, to do medicine. And no problem with that. Again, his father may be contacted at... One eight seven six four four two three zero nine zero. That's Kevin. His father' name is Kevin. Kelvin is the star, and Kevin giving the support 
His father talked about the contribution of his mother. His mother contributed a lot to the development, saying that she is a very strict individual and um, she was able to guide Kelvin along the way. His aunt, Kelvin aunt, is a teacher and has and perhaps guided Kelvin as well and give him that sort of motivation to do well. So give Kelvin that support. Give him that needed drive that he wants in order to materialize his venture. And no doubt, we will be proud, continue to be proud of this great Jamaican young teacher at age. His father said to me, hey, he's not 14, he's 13. So you know what I said, being a Jamaican, as we said in Jamaica, is 13 plus <laughs> he's between 13 and 14 so it's okay he is 14 right so help kelvin to materialize this kelvin peart empowerment center what can you give call his father and talk to him about your your means of contribution and how you can ensure that it gets to, to to kelvin and to the right project and um you can send me an email w radio 668 at gmail.com that's w radio 668 at gmail.com and i will contact his father and 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 see your best you can get your contribution to kelvin venture if you look at this, those of you watching on, on YouTube would be able to see those of you on your favorite podcast platform will not be able to see. But it's really a sort of a, a sort of a, a creative model of where Kelvin is in that bar that he, he told us he and his father cleaned the, the, that bar, you know, clean up that bar and started with one child and and a few more keep coming so kelvin want to move from that makeshift bar classroom older bar classroom and and go into um a container large enough to start what kevin his father was saying would be uh homework center and i suggested to them that since it is it is to be called kelvin peart empowerment center it must be and it should be, it could be more than homework center, but it could also include some sort of a counseling um, venture effort for, for young children, for youths in the area. And um, he was suggesting trade center and so on. So they, they, who knows where this KPEC, Kelvin Peart Empowerment Center, will go eventually. It could do well. And we would want to win the diaspora, Jamaicans in the diaspora. We'd want to be able to, to play a part in, in this venture, in this great Jamaican venture, by supporting this Kelvin venture with, with our, our finance. See how best we can help. Call his father at 1 876 442 3090. That's 1 876 442 3090 or email me, Dr. White at Kenyus Exploration at WRadio668 at gmail.com. That's WRadio668 at gmail.com. So we can set Kelvin Peart Empowerment Center on the road to success. And that means is this a district in St. Anne will be on the road to success as well. And Jamaica will no doubt be on the road to success or further success as we help the youth who wants to achieve. So give the support, give the support. Can you exploration? Your topic in a podcast wants you to support Kelvin. Can you exploration brought to you today by Deliver Drive, JA Limited, Deliver Drive, JA Limited. If you want to have 
your deliver done conveniently and quickly just whatsapp 876 403 1924 that's 876 403 1924 and uh, deliver drive will deliver your packages and document on time and in time so remember support kelvin we are trying to ensure that he gets his project out and move from what they say from that makeshift bar to a container to house more kelvin told us about he was just asked to <laughs> to 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 teach one child one child and his father you know he and his father cleaned this old bar and and started with a makeshift blackboard and then many children in the community started to attend kelvin school yeah and 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 that's 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 a great thing those of you who haven't seen it seen it before or haven't seen it before let's let's look at it again uh, and and um, passing remember. by this old wooden bar of queen height road in discovery bay saint anne not for a second would you imagine that behind its rustic walls is a makeshift classroom and what's even more interesting the teacher is a 14 year old kelvin peart on weekdays, the 8th grader who attends the Ferncourt High School in St. Anne would set up class here for about 10 students. Kelvin says the idea came about after he and his father realized that many students were struggling with access to online learning. Teaching students subjects, mathematics, language arts, science and social studies. Faith as a four and No blackboard. No problem. What's more important is getting the work done. He says at first, many were reluctant to participate. But once he started, the numbers kept growing. Feel good helping these students and they are cooperative. They are willing to learn. But how does Kelvin juggle this with his own schoolwork? In the morning, I address them, keep devotion. Topic mathematics first, and then tell them the topic, went through it with them, give them work, and then I attend my class. When I get break, I give them break the same time, which is 10.50. Then send them out to break, I eat my break, we come back in and do another subject, which is language art. After I give them the topic, I went through it, went through it with them, then give them work, and start my work, and I do it like that over and over. One of the parents, Latoya Grant, says not only is she impressed with his level of maturity, but she's also seeing improvements in her child. I don't have the time to keep up with her schoolwork, so it's a great relief for me to have the assistance. Kevin Peart, Kelvin's father, says he recognized his son's potential from a tender age. When we see him start this program, I know when we see kids from our boat, one come and can come because they don't have enough space. And they said, never be up on big space, put in. He's encouraging other parents, especially fathers, to support their children in their endeavors. They say, well, I did not dash you, eh? Take your ride with them, because you know what they're going to be. And stop killing kids, them. And that to be the next prime minister. Yeah, so please contribute to the, the, the Kelvin Peart Empowerment Center effort. It, it's critical because Kelvin wants to ensure that many other youths in his community benefit from his venture homework center and in effect there will be a sort of a trade center in this whole kelvin peart empowerment center complexity so give some support call his father his father number is one eight seven six four four two three zero nine zero. That's one eight seven six four four two three zero nine zero. His father' name is Kevin, and our star Kelvin, that young teacher, that thirteen years old teacher. His father said it, it's it's fourteen, but that that you know, give him some assistance so that he'll be able to 
to make this venture, the Kelvin Peart Empowerment Center, a reality. Moving from that bar, that makeshift classroom, to what you will see here if you're watching on YouTube, the Kelvin Peart Empowerment Center, the vision of the Kelvin Peart Empowerment Center. So you're hoping to take Kelvin Vision to another level from that makeshift to the Kelvin Pitt Empowerment Center, which is, or is, well, well they want it to be uh, as, as a container, that large, you know, one of those large containers with, with several windows and, and, and well-equipped to, to house a number of children in the community. And no doubt, there are other children that will attend from other communities in Centon, in and around Kelvin's community. It, it's it's going to be a very great effort, and we, we want Kelvin to be able to, to make it and his venture come through. So give him the support. Call his father, 1-876-442-3090, or, as his father suggested, Send me, send me an, an email at wradio668 at gmail.com. That's wradio668 at gmail.com. And I'll be able to pass on to his father. And would love to, can you take exploration? I'd love to, to earn as, as much as 4,000 US dollars in order to contribute to, to the Kelvin venture. And would love to be able to, to donate this sometime next year. So talk to us, let us know how much you in the diaspora, wherever you are, Jamaican in the diaspora, Jamaican diaspora in the United States, Canada, England, wherever, how much you can assist this great Jamaican, Kelvin. Thank you for listening. Remember that we are still in a pandemic. Remember, wear your mask. Remember the, the, the social distancing. And... Wash your hands. And I, I'm basically an encourager as it relates to the, the, the vaccine. I'm not telling you to take it, but I'm encouraging you to take your vaccine and let us go back to normal soon. I'm Dr. Kenyutt White. You're listening to Kenyutt Exploration, your topic in a podcast, uh, CM Pen LLC presentation. Thanks for listening and goodbye.